Today we're going to be following Doug Lean, aka Ranger Doug, and I just want to say for the record, I know nothing of this person. I went to ChatGPT and I was like, what do you know of Ranger Doug? And ChatGPT was like, I don't know. And I'm like, that's a lie, you know exactly who he is. <laughs> and then I, the second poem was, I don't know, I don't have enough information. Apparently there's a Ranger Doug who's also a country singer, so that should have at least popped up. I don't know. Oh, heck, Jet, 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 I don't know what that was about. <laughs> All right. Yes. So you'll have to, I'm going to learn you. Okay. So back in the Great Depression, FDR started um, the Works Project administration as part of the new deal to help get americans working again and a large part of this was like roads and bridges and infrastructure but then there was also the patronage of the arts and he hired musicians and muralists and things to create public goods uh -huh. and allow them to get paid so uh -huh. what was born of that was posters for real? Posters. Oh, wow. Thousands and thousands and thousands of posters. Right. And the most iconic posters are the National Park posters, which I have an affinity for. Oh. I love this style of art. In fact, this style is just known as the WPA style from the Works Project admin. And that's crazy to think that, like, such a little blip in history, mm -hmm. I mean, kind of an important blip, yeah, but, uh -huh. like, it created an entire art style, which you see yeah. all the time yes. now. Yeah. And I, I soups love this style because it's really stripped down and every line and color and choice that is made, like, counts a lot. Mm -hmm. But... Because they're posters, yeah, and the nature of posters is that they are disposable. Mm -hmm. you pack it up on your bedroom wall when you've got all your like teen fandom going on, mm -hmm. and then it slowly disintegrates, gets destroyed, thrown away, whatever. I mean, just imagine a national park poster. Yes, it might be a bulletin board outside somewhere. In mm -hmm. fact, they would design them purposely with like blank squares on them so they could put the schedule oh. and change it out oh. um but yeah they didn't really survive that's really all that i know about these sort of posters is that the survival rate was not it high. was really <laughs> bad in fact there are only 12 oh 12 okay so 12 designs okay survived. um they have catalog or evidence of 14 of them <laughs> but two of them only exist in black and white pictures like they're in a photo okay and it's oh, okay. only like evidence of them what we have uh yeah thank you for watching this clip of spotlight with purple easel we're our instructors at socal's largest paint sip studio check out purpleeaselplus.com to join the largest online paint and sip community mm -hmm. and you want to make sure to like subscribe follow ring that bell add to the conversation comment below and check out our full episodes at purple easel spotlight We'll see you soon.